all have a fantastic week. Today we are making a mitten banner in celebration of the holiday season and so that way you can have something cute to hang in your space. So for this tutorial, you are going to need a sheet of paper so that way we can draw out the template. For materials, I will be using felt, a printed flannel, and some fake fur. Next up, I will be using a hot glue gun, some scissors, and a marker. And lastly, I will be using this natural fiber string. So to draw out the mitten, what I usually do is just place my hand on the center of this paper and make a big mitten, just like this. Wrap it around your four fingers, and then for the thumb part, just make a loop. So cut that out, and you should have something like this. And now we're going to apply this onto the fabric. So this is the wrong side facing upward at me, and I'm going to draw this on the wrong side. You don't have to use a marker. The only reason why I'm using a marker is so that way it can show on video, and so that way you guys can see it. Now with my fabric scissors, I'm going to cut this out. So you can just have your mitten like this, or what I'm going to do with my flannel is place this over my fleece just because the fleece is more sturdy and the flannel is a little bit flimsy. And again, I'm just going to draw out the shape of this. Okay, so I traced that out and it's time to cut this around. So let me just fix some pieces sticking out. So now I'm just going to glue the two fabrics together with my fake fur material. I'm going to cut out some trimming enough to cover the top of this part of the mitten. I'm making this about one and a half inches wide, but long enough to cover this side of the mitten. With this fake fur, because it unravels and there's lots of fallout, I'm going to glue this hold it inward. Now with my hot glue gun, glue this on and put this on top of the mitten. So that is my cute little mitten. I still have this little opening right here where I can store stuff inside. And to hang this up, I'm going to use a string. And I want about a foot extra of string on the side so that way I can hang this. And now I'm gonna glue this string to my mitten. And the way I'm doing this is I'm just going to use the top edge of this fake fur right here and fold it down. And this is how it should look hanging. So I'm going to create about four more of these and let's see how they turn out. That is it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this fun DIY with me. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I will link that toward the end of this video or on the bottom here. And I will see you next week. Mwah.